Hey everybody, welcome back, Pack Opening Addict. I'm gonna open up another one of these Innistrad Midnight Hunt set boxes. This one's gonna be for me. So, let's see what we've got here. All right, let's get into this, and packs have slid. All right, and let's get it cracking, folks. Pull tabs, pull tabs. Okay, beautiful plane. And I'm going to kind of go through commons, go through some uncommons. Then you get into this area where you can randomly get rares and mythics, but often are commons. And then we got Rite of Harmony to start us off, and we have no focus. There we go. And Devious Cover Up, and a Cradle Guard off the list. Cradle Guard. All right. Okay. <clears throat> That's a card. People didn't play with it back then. But cool. All right, anyway. So, Faithful Mending, Ominous Roost, Mystic Skull. Why does that seem kind of cool? And one man of any color, blah, blah, blah. Transform. Mystic Monstrosity. Lands you control have a... Oh. Obviously it's a creature, so it can die quick, but... Oh. Okay. And Slaughter Specialist. Vampire Warrior. Okay, let's see here. So we've got Scab Wrangler, Vivisection, Dawnheart, Wardens, Champlain of Arms, Falcon Wrath, Pit Fighter, and Reduced to Memory, a Lesson Card? A Lesson Card, really? Wasn't that extremely set specific? Whatever. Whatever. I guess that, that isn't fun, is it? Okay. Getting in a card that's actually set specific. As in, pretty, kind of almost borderline unplayable in, in all this. Alright, Sigarda, Champion of Light, our first mythic of the box. And a Soltari Monk. Which I don't think, I, I think that has been on the list since the list came out. And they have never removed it. And it just keeps popping up. So we got Ghoulish Procession. Okay, yeah. Going through them quicker. No time to read. Serith. Cool card. The Viper's Fang. And Covert Cup Curse Foil. I, oops, I totally forgot. I'm separating out the lands. So what happens when you do something that's not routine? Okay, Flesh Ticker. Rider. Farmhand. Haunted Ridge. Okay, cool. Our first of the land cycle. I have to shove things around here. And we got Archetype of Aggression. Okay. Kind of a neat uncommon. See, like that, that one's a little better. Kind of fits the, the, you know, the different deck archetypes a little better. And we got our cool signature card. Faithful Mendina. Okay, and... Jaren, Corrupted Bishop. I have to admit, I think the regular artwork on this is really cool because you see him looking up just like, oh, that's amazing, and then you kind of see what he's looking up at. <laughs> Hungry for more. All 
Oh, a second signed card. Okay. What was this one again? That's right. Can't stay away. Cat's getting at that food. Hey, Lindy. Cool. Cheerful Tormentor. Village Watch. And Florian Valderin Scion. He is fancy. Okay. Oh, cool. All right. And we've got a Pact of Negation off the list. That is pretty solid right there. I'll gladly take that. So they added Pact of Negation on the list, huh? From, and then called it an M25 reprint. Because they left that symbol on there. Okay. Pithing Needle. Which I generally would always put up there, but I think pre-release now this thing is down to like 50 cents. And Enclave Cryptologist. Alright, so that pretty much brings us to, there should be one more list, rare or mythic, and then that's it. Like, we're already done with the list. Maybe, there might be two more, but that's, that's probably about it. Ambusher. Blood Thief. Painter. Nothing overgrown farmland. Doesn't look that overgrown. Okay. Yeah, foil swampy. Okay, collector, hungry for more social light. Tovalar in the traditional version. Okay. Yeah, there he is, leading his pack. Good hit, good hit. Immolation. All right. Go. So we got Blood Tithe again, Hungry for More again, Channeler. Castaway, consuming, that's a mythic? Consuming Blob's a mythic. That's a mythic. Whoa, Spectral Adversary Foil. Cool, like I'm, I'm ecstatic about that. That's awesome to me, personally. And Shambling Shell, okay, so we do have one more rare or mythic coming and that's probably it for the list. Or we are gonna like set records for list cards here. Wonder which one it'll be. Get like seven to eight in a box. You know, Avarian, I'm just throwing packs all over the place now. By the way, this pithing needle, like this artwork is, is it really fits the, but this is not a good looking card. As far as artifacts go, and people tend to love their pretty artifact pictures, that artwork is not great. I mean, again, it fits the theme here extremely well. And Willow Geist. Okay. Yeah, it's kicked through the commons. Warden, nothing. Graph Keeper, watch, and Denik. Good old Denik. And Denik, the pious apparition. Yeah, it's probably going to be... Wow, we really killed off those list cards pretty early. Good, now give me Mythics. You know, yes, I've already got three Mythics, a Foil Mythic, and a Mythic out of the Commanders. The commander cards. So, there might be like one more Mythic, maybe two more. Wow, we kind of kind of got to the end of this video pretty quickly here, huh? Yep, you can turn it on. Hey, it's a Garden Savior. Yep. So, maybe one more Mythic, and we're not even at half the box yet. That's incredible. That's incredible.
Okay, Ritual of Hope, Cathar's Call, Visions of Dread. Okay, Infiltrator. Rem Carlos, Stalwart Slayer. That is a card I kind of wanted to pull. I kind of want to kind of want to spend a little time with that one. All right, Dawnheart Mentor. I had not seen that one in the... So it does not flip because it does not have the thing in the top, and I didn't bother to look at that. Looks really good in the foil, although the foiling, and people have talked about this, it's kind of subtling around it. Very subtle. It's not like the in-your-face foiling. Probably because these are the Japanese packs. Okay, defend the Celestis. Borrow time. Fate Hook Angler. And Memory Deluge. Morbid Opportunist. Okay. Okay, Island. And. Oops. Okay, let me go through these quickly. Not quite what we're looking for. That's an uncommon. I almost put it in the commons. And Storm the Festival. I think it's going to be a really cool card. Um, it has definitely pre-release has has dropped quite a bit on it. Silver Bolt and whoa, Doubling Cube. Huh. That's kind of cool. Okay. Wow, Doubling Cube. Cards you don't know that they added. Well, that's probably it for the list, folks. <laughs> what am I doing here? Uh, I keep doing this. The way they set up these uh, set boosters packs this time. Siphon Insight and a Foil Field of Ruin. With the whole start on the end commons and then start throwing random commons, uncommon, common. It really throws off your, your rhythm separating packs out. Definitely makes a bigger challenge in doing this. Okay, Ants, Earth, Windhorn, Windthorn Blessing, see, random common, uncommon. Smoldering Egg, the Smoldering Egg. Florian in the neat showcase. Okay, foil showcase. Okay, we are on now the last bunch of cards. My, my piles were not even, so I think there's, what, nine? Come on. There we go. Ambusher. Blood Thief. Random Commons. Farm Hand. Sprout. Which I think is funny. It turns into that. Faithful Absence. And there's Soren. By the way, Faithful Absence, I, I remember when this, this card first got shown and a buddy of mine was like, dude, dude, this thing, this thing, this, look at this card. This thing is stupid. It's ridiculous. And I, I kind of agree. Okay. Bane Blade Scoundrel. And you are an uncommon. Croaking counterpart, the frogs. The frogs show up when you don't want them to. All right, there should be one more borderless card, or it should be a borderless card, I should say. You get one to two of those per box, it seems, on average, from whatever everything I've seen. Shipwreck Marsh. Oh, and a foil rem carless. Okay. Getting some different stuff here, that's for sure. Okay, field rear in. Traveler. And the Celestis. Vampire Socialite foil. So what do we got left here? We got six packs left. Hoping for one more Mythic and hoping to get a Borderless card at some point.
And I hope that borderless card is a mythic. And we still get another mythic. That's the hope. Uh, but commons, what uncommons? I'm just kind of a mess here. Dissipate. Good old dissipate. Intruder. Okay, and we got Poppet Stitcher. All right, so we did get another mythic. So we got the Poppet Stitcher. He's the Poppet Factory. Neat card. Part of the whole uh, zombie tribe of this that seems quite strong. Of course, has there been a time in a real long time where zombies haven't been kind of strong? Even if they weren't meta. I know somebody will tell me, yeah, they suck. Yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, Heirloom Mirror. And Graveyard Trespasser, huh? Graveyard Glutton. Borrowed time. Okay, so we got four packs left. Still hoping for a Borderless card. Skrelix. And we got Vagric, Astral, Archmage. Three packs. Yeah, at least I got Lindy. Otherwise, the Mythics were, uh, well, Foil Spectral Adversary is pretty cool. Didn't get particularly great for, uh, Mythics. But did get a lot of neat stuff. Yeah, got Pact of Negation over there, so, right, can't really complain. Doubling Cube is pretty cool, too. Burn down the house. Okay. <clears throat> Q talking heads. Okay, so two packs left. We gotta get a borderless, yeah? I don't think I've seen a box without one. Kyler, Sigardian Emissary, Mythic Commander. Okay. All right, that's unexpected. Not the mythic I was hoping for in terms of borderless or not borderless, but okay. Bloodline calling. Last pack. Wow, no borderless. It's kind of neat when you start doing these boxes and you really start getting an idea of their layouts. And, and then one just doesn't do what others did. Okay, Burly Breaker, and Grafted Identity. Is that it? I think that's it. That is it. Okay, well, that is the box. Thanks for watching, folks. By the way, if you need any discounts on custom playmats, custom sleeves, check out my link down below for 10% off your order with yourplaymat.com. Um, Pass that, but thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more Innistrad, or if you hate Innistrad, obviously, it's going to be a while until you watch my channel. All right, bye.